In this open shot tutorial I will show you how to edit a sequence of video clips using proxies. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in OpenShot and also rendering videos in OpenShot. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well I've brought these four clips into OpenShot and I've also placed them in track 5. And one of the problems with a lot of video editors, um, if they don't have an inbuilt uh, facility to create proxy clips, you're really stuck with what they call lag. And trying to find certain points to edit a clip can be time consuming and fairly fiddly. Now I know there are some tutorials on um, using proxies in OpenShot but they seem to rely on using a video converter and you don't need to do that. What you need to do is just come to the top of the screen and left click on the export video button. Now you've already set your, your video up to match the output you want but what you can do next to video profile left click and choose a low profile. So I'm going to go for a mobile 360p. Obviously you'll need to give your clip a title so I'm going to just call it what it is. So I'll call it a proxy. And then I'm just going to load this onto my desktop. You can change your location by selecting the browse button but I won't go into that and now I'm just going to export this video now this may well happen don't worry about it if the aspect ratio changes it it won't matter we're really just looking at quickly editing a sequence of clips and this will change once you bring it back in I'll come back to this when it's finished rendering once your clips finished rendering place your pointer over the track 5 and right click and then left click remove track. Now go to the folder where you created your proxy clip and drag it into the project files box. Bring your clip into track 4 snap it up at the beginning. OK. Now one of the problems you'll see here is that we've still got this stretched aspect ratio so if you just come up to the top of the screen and left click on choose profile it will reset itself and then just left click close now you should be able to scrub through quite quickly so all I'm going to do, I'm not going to play this, I'm going to literally just scrub through to points where I want to edit. So we'll go to this point here. There's a little green gizmo and if you place your pointer over it, it will say add marker. So just left click this. I'm going to scrub through to the next point. And again, I'm going to add a marker. Scrub through to the next video add a marker. I'm going to do this very quickly. Add a marker and this is where it does come in handy if you've got a long clip and you're waiting for something to happen. So I'll come across to here, add another marker, scrub over to there, add a marker, and then finally this clip here I don't know add another marker and let's add a marker here go back to the beginning and got all our markers set up and again track 4 right click and then remove track bring your videos back in to track 3 in the same order that you originally had
Next to the Add Marker button, there's a Previous Marker and Next Marker button. So with your, with your marker or your Timeline Marker at the beginning, left click Next Marker. Right click on the clip and then next to Slice Rider, you need to left click Keep Right Side. Go to the next marker, right click, and next to slice, keep left side. And again, and keep going like this. So this one we want the right side. And now I want the left. And again, so I want to keep the right hand side, so next to slice, keep the right hand side. And now I'll keep the left hand side. And again, you might it might stop at the beginning, so you need to make sure you get to the marker. And again, I'm going to keep the left. I'm not, I went wrong. Now this is where it can be handy to know a couple of shortcuts. I've cut the wrong point. So I'm going to just press Control Z and that will bring me into the right point. So I need to go to the next marker. Sorry, right, I need to go back to that marker. Sorry, I'll get off. I'm going to right click and then slice and I'm going to keep the right hand side and then go back to the next marker right we'll go it we've, we've sorted ourselves out now so we're at the next marker right click slice and keep the left side once you've done that what I would do is go right back to the beginning and just drag these clips individually so they snap up together don't overlap them unless you want to have a transition and I wouldn't even bother playing this I know we're probably going to struggle to play this now because it's quite a lot of uh, high definition videos but basically you can see that it's actually edited this now so you're good to go Go up to your export video button and just check everything's back to normal and it is um, and obviously you're going to give it a title I'll come back to this when it's finished rendering once your video's finished rendering hopefully you should have a video sequence in full definition that you've edited using a proxy clip. Hopefully this helps somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.